Good morning children. How are you all? I hope you are all staying safe, right? In the last class, we completed the lesson Vallam Kali, right? That was the lesson number 9. Today, let's get into the new lesson. That's lesson number 10. Who likes the rain? So, as you can see, as you have already seen, right, many times, uh, when it rains, it's very, you know, uh, very interesting. We, we are so excited. Few of the children are very interested to play out, you know, splash the water, get wet in the rain, you know, right. All would like to get wet in rain at least once, right. And we would have got scoldings from our parents for that. So, that's how, how children's for most of the children's rain is their favorite uh, thing, right? So, rainy season is the favorite season as well. See, as the boy, you know, splashes through the water, you know, it's, it's a very interesting thing for all the kids to do. So, today we have a poem related to such uh, feelings of a boy towards the rain. So, let's start with the le lesson. It's a poem, page number 66. And the name was, Who Likes the Rain? Right? Let's start. We love to play in the rain. Let's read a poem on the joy of having fun in the rain. So, as I've told you before, it's a poem related to rain. So, we all love to play in rain, isn't it? Yes, we do. Let's read a poem on the joy of having fun in rain. So, as you can see, the boy is having fun in rain, right? So, let's get into the poem. I, said the duck, I call it fun. For I have my red rubbers on. They make a little three-toed track in the soft, cool mud. Quack, quack. So, in the first para, what does it say? You? I said the duck. So, who is telling this lines? Is it? These lines are told by a duck. What does it say? It says, I call it fun. So, the duck is calling it a fun. What is it? What is fun for it? Let's see. For I have my red rubbers on. So, it says, I call it fun. Okay, for me it's fun. Because I have my red rubbers on. What does red rubbers mean? Rubbers here means waterproof shoes. Okay. Usually which we wear during uh, rainy seasons, right? When we, uh, the normal shoes and all gets wet. But where uh, you, if you wear uh, rubber shoes, they won't get wet. So, the duck is like, I have my red color rubber sh uh, rubbers on. That means I have red color uh, shoes on. Okay. And they make a little three-toed track. That means, uh, for how many toes does a duck have usually you would have seen most of the pictures like it has a three uh, toe right you can see so so the shoe of the duck is also three toed so when it walks on the wet sand or on the wet mud or soil what happens uh, there lies a three toed track that means when you step on a wet mud what happens your feet uh, you know, the impression is left behind, right? So, similarly, even the duck's feet, uh, you know, the little toad, three-toed track is left behind. Wherever it was walking, no? Uh, this uh, three-toed marks was left behind. In the soft, cool mud. Quack, quack. So, it's saying. So, what does it say? I said the duck. That means the duck is telling. I Call it fun because I have my red rubber shoes on my feet. And they these rubber shoes leave a three-toed track. Okay, a mark is left behind wherever I walk. 
through the soft cool mud why is it cool because it's raining right why is it soft again because it's wet so whenever it's walking on the, that cool wet mud it is leaving a, a track right and he says quack quack and he goes it's about the duck next let's go to the next para i cried the dandelion i my roots are thirsty my buds are dry and she lifted a tousled yellow head out of a green and grassy bed so what's happening here you can see a uh, dandelion dandelion is nothing but a type of weed okay with golden yellow flowers uh you can actually see in the picture right there's some plant there right with uh yellow yellow color flowers can you see you can see right on the right side it's it looks like sunflower but it's not actually a sunflower okay it's a dandelion so the dandelion is crying now it says i okay i dandelion and it's saying that my roots are thirsty that means uh, the the dandelion weed you know the uh, it's a type of plant okay uh, the plant's roots are actually dry and thirsty and my buds are dry bud is nothing but the uh, you can see right in the picture it's not the you know bloomed flower okay it's still a bud it has to bloom so it's getting ready to bloom so the buds are already dry and uh, the roots of dandelion are very thirsty that means they are also dry they need water so and she lifted a tousled head uh, yellow head tousled means it's like untidy but it's very attractive that means it's not very clean and you know well maintained but it's very uh, good to look at it's very attractive though it's not very clean right and uh, so uh, the her head that is dandelion that flowers head had actually just lifted and it's saying this you can see in the picture right a face with the within the flower right it's that one so lifted a tousled yellow head out of a green and grassy bed because it's it just is within the uh, you know a lot of leaves and the green and grassy bed it's coming out of that and it's telling this that what what does it say it says my roots are thirsty and my buds are dry so i want some water let's move to the next para i hope it will pour i hope it will pour per the tree toad at the gray park door for with a broad leaf for a roof i'm perfectly waterproof so next para what does it say it's telling us that i hope it will pour twill is nothing but a short form of it will okay so i hope it will pour i hope it will pour per the tree toad tree toad you can see right it's a frog a different uh type of a frog is called a toad okay you can see in the picture right it's covered half but still uh sorry on the left of your textbook right uh that's a toad so it's called a tree toad usually they are always on trees okay that's why it's called a tree toad yeah and per the tree toad at the gray bark door for with a broad leaf for a roof and perfectly waterproof so it's coming out of bark gray bark bark is nothing but the trees uh, the outer skin of a, a you know tree trunk right you call it as a bark so he's coming out of the bark of a tree that's like a door for him he comes out and he is sitting under a big leaf okay so he says leaf is like a, the broad leaf is like a roof for me therefore i am perfectly waterproof because therefore the water is not falling on me so i am waterproof is what frog is telling that is a tree toad is telling let's move to the next para sang the brook i laugh at every drop 
and wish they never need to stop till a big big river i grow to be and could find my way to the sea so next para is about the a uh, brook brook is nothing but a small river that you can see in the picture right so that small river is saying this para what is it saying it says i laugh at every drop that means the river is laughing at each and every drop and what is it saying it says and wish they never need to stop and the you know the river is wishing that the drops never stop that means the rain is never stopping till a big big river i grow to be so what is it saying it says the rain should not stop at all till the big uh, till the small river grows to a bigger river and could find my way to the sea so what does it mean it just means as i have told you this the river is telling that brook is nothing a small river okay the small river is actually laughing at each and every drop of rain when it falls why is it laughing it's feeling so happy and it says i wish they never need to stop that means the drops should not stop at all is the rivers small rivers wish till when it should not stop till it becomes a bigger river that means when it's uh, the rain is really heavy when lots of drops of rain falls that is when the rain becomes so heavy the river grows that means the level of water in the river increases right so it grows it becomes bigger and bigger river and finally these river flows to the sea so it can find its way to the sea to join the big see that's the aim of the small river so the river says i am really happy whenever the drop is falling and the river wishes that it should not stop at all until when until the small river grows to a bigger river and find its way to the sea the last para i shouted ted for i can run with my high top boots and rain coats on through every puddle and runlet and pool i find on the road to school so now finally the boy is telling what is he telling he says i shouted ted who shouted ted ted is the name of the boy he shouted why did he shout because he can run he can run with his high top boots high top you can see right the boots the big shoes you, which you can see it's called a boot so it's called the high boots okay so he says i can run with my high top boots and the rain coats on so he can wear a rain coat and he can wear his boots and he can run in the rain so he is shouting then through every puddle and runlet and pool so through, uh, through every puddle puddle is nothing but where you can see right the a uh, small like you a small pond not actually a pond but a small pond is created because of this rain water right the sand uh, gets you know wet and uh, it just makes a small hole and the water is filled on the roads right you can see it everywhere so that's a puddle and runlet runlet is nothing but a small stream stream in the sense it's not a river but on roads you can see whenever the rain you know comes it's uh, heavily falling you can see the water falling i mean you know like a river right the water flowing like a river right that's called a small stream a runlet and pool yeah obviously the pools is nothing but whenever the there's a you know a uh, ditch in the uh roads on the roads right the it it is filled with the uh, water rain water and uh, it becomes a pool now i find on the road to school so all these he finds on the road to school and so he jumps into that and he uh, is happy and he is therefore shouting shouting with joy okay so this is the poem and it's written by clara dotty beats that's the name of the poet 
Now let's read it again. I said the duck, I call it fun, for I have my red rubbers on. They make a little three-toe track in the soft, cool mud. Quack quack. I cried the dandelion. I. My roots are thirsty. My butts are dry. And she lifted a tousled yellow head out of a green and grassy bed. I hope twill pour. I hope twill pour. Purred the tree toad at the grey bark door. For which a broad leaf for a roof. I am perfectly waterproof. Sang the brook. I laugh at every drop. And wish they never need to stop till a big, big river I grow to be and could find my way to the sea. I shouted, Ted, for I can run with my high top boots and raincoats on. Through every puddle and runlets and pool, I find on the road to school. So, this is the poem. What's the name of the poem? It's Who Likes the Rain. So all these likes the rain, right? First it was a duck. Then it's the dandelion flower. And then it was a toad. Last and finally uh, it was the river and the Ted, the boy. So let's wind up the class for today. I hope you have understood everything. It's a Big but simple poem. Uh, read it once or twice. Write down the meaning. Practice the words. Okay children. Let's meet in the next class. Take care and bye.